Hey guys, how are you doing? Apple have just released iOS 26 beta 1 to developers and in this episode I just want to share my initial impression about the iOS 26 liquid glass UI and overall design with the lock screen, home screen and a few other apps, you know the default apps like photos, settings, phone app and messages app. How it looks, how it feels and some of my thoughts about this design, you know, I just want to share it in this episode. So the very first thing is I have installed it on my 15 Pro Max, but my suggestion is not to install it on your primary device, just like you know any other disclaimers say. And the official release of iOS 26 is expected by the end of September. By the mid of September, we will see the next generation of iPhones, iPhone 17 series announced. And by the end of September, along with iPhone 17 series, we will have the iOS 26 officially released with plenty of bug fixes and more fine tuning are about to happen based on the feedbacks that developers and other public beta testers are going to submit. So if you want a better stable experience, it is recommended to wait and then update it on your primary iPhone. If you have a secondary iPad or iPhone, you know, you may try to explore this beta version and install it to see how it works overall and how the beta updates progress in the upcoming weeks. So here in the lock screen, you can see the notifications and everything looks a little bit different compared to the iOS 18. In the home screen, when you tap and hold and navigate into the edit mode, sorry, the customize mode, you have the default dark, clear and tinted option. So the clear mode is the one right now is getting a lot of criticism that we can see in YouTube videos by fellow content creators and in social media sites like x.com and plenty of other sites. So it does look like Windows Vista or Windows Arrow theme that we have seen in 2006 around but Apple kind of did a lot here with the iOS 26, you know, it's not just a kind of uh, Windows Vista theme. Initially, it may look like that, but a lot is going on here in terms of detail and you will see that when it is officially rolled out. And for the few seconds usage, I immediately started to notice heating around this area, which means like the CPU and GPU are kind of being stressed a lot for running these animations. And right now you are seeing the clear glass mode with dark mode on. Previously, it was the clear mode with light mode on and right now I have turned on the dark mode to have a little bit better look at the text that you know I'm seeing on the screen. On both the lock screen and the text of the icons and everything in the control center, if you have the dark mode on, it will be a little bit better to read them and you know the readability is the one which is affected with the light mode and I think Apple have already started working on it. More feedbacks are going to be submitted by the public beta testers more feedback are going to be submitted by the fellow volunteers and testers. Also, I forgot to mention about the public beta, which we are expecting by next month when, uh, you know, the iOS 26 beta 2 for developers released. We will see that version as the public beta normally. So the next month mid, we may expect the July mid, we may expect the public beta released for volunteers to test the iOS 26 before the official release. Uh, to all the compatible iPhones. So here you can see with the dark mode based on the dark tone wallpaper that you set, you know, it kind of okay for readability, but in the control center, the background contrast has to be increased for sure in both the light and dark mode. It is not, you know, that much appealing and uh, friendly to read or look at the icons. It takes a little bit more concentration or more attention to understand which icon is the one we are looking for before clicking on it. So that's what I think personally about the liquid glass design. This is my initial impression that it is definitely a bad thing. You know, for, it will take for a few more days for me to personally adopt to this design and Apple definitely needs to fix some of the background related tasks. You know, the clock and everything is clearly visible and still everything is kind of floating on the display, which is kind of positive at the same time. It's kind of a big negative for people like to, you know, concentrate more in order to interact with the objects 
uh, on the screen and one important thing i have understood is that the based on the vision pro we are seeing all these icons going all glass mode so apple is kind of preparing us for the future you know the smart glass that we are going to see next year which will be uh, you know a reduced price compared to the current uh, apple vision pro pricing so apple wants to sell more smart glass and they know it is the future of computing and the people have to move on from their mobile device to the smart glass mode uh, you know simply we will wear a glass and we will walk out of our home and start interacting with uh, you know without disturbance to the uh, real view that we see and we will still be able to use all the floating windows the apps messages phone calls video calls and everything right in front of us they have also made huge improvements to the persona in this vision os 26 version as you might have seen in the demo so this ios 26 ipad ios 26 mac ios 26 are all kind of a preparation for us to use this sort of transparent windows so that you know we will be ready for the smart glass once it's officially available in a mass produced way more manufacturers and vendors are going to follow this i'm very sure android platforms and the smart glasses that we have the virtual reality and mixed reality glasses we have within few months we, we are going to see the same similar interface you know with their icons and it is of course anything is possible with android but with ios only apple have to make the changes it is a closed ecosystem and they are kind of moving forward to make the audience ready for the vision os and all of its smart glass future so the camera app also got a huge makeover now it looks like a halid third party premium app you know uh, with all the controls hidden deeper inside you need to click on several menu options in order to you know prepare your camera mode before shooting the photo or a video and next the phone app also got some good design changes the new phone layout puts the recent calls and other voicemails and people right in front of you based on the recent interactions and below that you will have the recent calls history otherwise you can of course switch to the regular only calls history mode and in all the apps system you know uh, from the system settings and phone app messages app the bottom drawer is completely redesigned to match with the liquid glass ui and i personally feel that too much is going on while using you know my iphone 15 pro max with the ios 26 beta 1 installed i can see that a lot of jiggles happening when i tap on the icon when i tap on the text bar the text field to type something when i try to interact with the menu you know the icons are frequently changing the colors because it is kind of reflecting the glass piece so it has to interact with the background objects so so many colorful changes i'm seeing across the device and i'm sure it does require a pretty much good amount of cpu and gpu even though the processor can handle users are worried about the battery performance but it is too soon to tell because a lot of optimization have to be done and apple have just released ios 26 beta 1 to developers not even public beta is available so after two or three betas we can jump to conclusion how the overall user experience is the files app also got some good changes inside the files and folders section if you long press any file or folder you will see the menu option something similar to the mac os so there are no too much separators right now you know you have to simply tap on that particular option to perform the action the menu system and sub menu system has got a complete design overhaul and i like it you know like with the iphone and the ipad especially with larger screens using the files app is going to be a lot more like using the mac operating system i'll talk about the ipad os 26 in our upcoming videos so overall these are my thoughts the default system settings apps phone app messages app and plenty of other apps are now liquid glass effect enabled it is definitely tough to read the text you know the readability is a one big problem in the lock screen and in the control center and other places apple is expected to do some fixing increasing the adjustment to the you know the contrast in the background of whenever there are text 
visible on the screen. So the official release of iOS 26 will happen by the end of September. You can wait if you're not in a rush to put your data at risk. Otherwise, take a backup of your important data and then you may try installing the iOS 26 on your iPhone or iPad. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video useful, do give a thumbs up. And for more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day.